the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 127 of The Daily Mother Swole, Swole Train. This guy, a pedophile, right away on Periscope, really. Everyone, we got a piece of shit on Periscope. Just click the heart button if you want me to block whoever just said that. Really? This guy, a pedophile? Periscope sucks for that reason. I hope everyone hears that. Yeah? All right, when they talk again, I'll do it. Those nipples are yum. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You know, I'm leaving that in the podcast. I'm leaving that in the podcast. I want everyone to know. I want everyone to know that you got pieces of, there are pieces of shit everywhere. There are pieces of shit everywhere. We know this. We know this. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. Yeah, you. Yeah, Louis Davila, 37. In the cold. In the cold. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, I used to not like blocking people. Anyone that's like watching or listening to this for the first time. I used to not block anyone. I used to let people, ah, you know, free country, you know, all that crap, you know, let people talk it out and work it out. Most people just want to, now I block everyone. You got one thing to say, done, done. I got one of those like zero tolerance policies now. (laughs) So let's get started. 127, Daily Mother Swole. It's Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my uh, new to my channel, let me break this down for you. Live daily show, 12 noon Eastern time, live on Facebook, live on Periscope, live on Busker. You can see this on YouTube as well, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash swolenormous, and also, also SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher. How casually, what intro? What intro? Talking about pieces of shit? <laughs> I can't tell. Everything's casual now. Everything's casual when it's part of the daily life. Daily mother swole. The mother swole. The Hulk. All right, you know what? I got a lot of people on Periscope, and they I know they want to see some of the fucking gains. They're miring. Periscope, you got a lot of mirers on Periscope, and I've had a lot of coffee. So lucky for you, I've already had coffee. It's established in my system, and I'm, like, sweating already. I'm so Imparatore. Can you make lasagna? Uh, yeah, sure. I prefer seven layer gain cake. Look at that. Let's do that. Oh, all right. Let's get into some content. Anyone who's watching this on YouTube is like, what is this guy talking about? And it's interesting that I got the other platforms, those of which have no idea what I'm saying, who I'm talking to. So remember, I'm talking to like four or five different people. You will sing song. Let's get started because it's going to get, it's really off the rails already. And, you know, I appreciate that. So this is the best ways. These are the best ways are some top ways to start your day, ways to get your body fucking ramped up, get your body ramped up. So if you've seen some of my YouTube videos, if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, go to youtube.com, type in Swolenormous, type in Swolenormous, same username as Periscope, same username as Facebook and uh, busker check it out subscribe like my videos i have 500 videos and counting it just tons and tons of stuff about this about the mentality about the interaction between the physical and the mental so with that in mind with that in mind these are some of the great ways that i have found personally to start the day and this is starting the day starting your day off right and you know everyone's had a shitty day Everyone that's watching this has had a shitty day. Everyone that's listening to this has had a shitty day. You might be having a shitty day right now, but shitty day no longer. Now, I'm going to turn that poop into uh, protein. I don't know. I didn't have a a good follow-up for that, but you can turn into whatever you like. You could turn into Skittles. You could turn into Sour Patch Kids. That's probably my first choice, Sour Patch Kids, or coffee. Turn the poop into coffee. Say thank you when you first wake up. Before you get out of bed, say thank you. Once, twice, three, four, five times. Just say the words thank you. And the more you say it, mean it. Mean it. In the top three, oh, that's why I'm blowing up. Say it like you mean it. Say thank you and mean that shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you for having arms. Thank you for having two legs. If you don't have two legs, thank yourself for having two fucking arms. If you don't have arms or legs, thank yourself for having eyes. If you don't have eyes, thank yourself for having ears. Thank the Lord, you know, thank the world for having ears. Make sure you thank whether you want to thank God, whether you want to thank the spirits, the universe, just thank nature, thank your luck, your fortune, whatever you're thanking, whatever is important to you, whatever is important to you, make sure you're saying thanks. And that is going to put you in a right state of mind. It's just, it's so simple. It's so simple. And it's kind of like when, if you're upset, and I want you to try this too, this is different, but if you're upset at any point in your day, you get into a fight, or you're just in traffic, or you're in a bad mood or something, and you're just really pissed off, smile. It's so hard. It sounds easy. It's hard. Don't have to like, just do the physical act of smiling. Just do this. Just pull the edge of your mouth up. The body when you actually work those muscles, and it's science, when you activate those muscles, there's actually a reverse feedback system where like, let's say you're happy, you smile. Your body recognizes those muscles activating and your body will be like, oh, I guess I'm happy. And you'll start to feel a little bit better. Try when you're pissed off to smile and then try to stay as pissed off as you were while smiling. First off, you'll feel weird. And second off, it's not just feeling weird, you'll actually start to feel better because your body's releasing those hormones and those endorphins that are related to happiness because you're smiling. So it's like a reverse feedback system. It's tricking your body into thinking it's happy and in effect, it'll actually make you happier. So try smiling when you're upset. It's kind of like saying thank you. Words are powerful. The first thing that we do in our life is learn language. So every single thought, every single emotion that you have, even before you have emotion, you have language. So saying the words thank you are far more powerful than you think um, could ever be. You got more hair on your face than on your chest. Yeah, I do. If I ever have 5% of the hair on my face, on my chest, I wouldn't. That'd be, that'd be very, very inappropriate in my opinion. So interesting comment. Yeah, I have a lot more hair on my face than all my hair is from the neck up. Let's be honest. Drink water. I talked about hydration yesterday. Drink water. Drink 16 to 32 ounces of water immediately upon waking. Keep a bottle of water. Keep a glass of water. Whatever you want to do next to your bed. I put actually that natural Celtic sea salt. I get mine from Whole Foods. You can get online. I put natural Celtic sea salt in the water so I get my minerals first thing in the morning. And I like it for hydration purposes. So first thing in the morning, first thing in the morning, 16 to 32 ounces of water. More if you like. Hey, welcome from Busker. Also, another great way to start your day, and this has like, you could choose any one of the following. This is an idea concept. Stretching, foam rolling, yoga, meditation, some kind of peaceful connection with yourself. You can do stretching. You can do meditation. You could do some kind of foam rolling and massage. You can do an actual yoga class or a yoga flow. So you can do uh, something physical like that, or you can just do something, you know, connecting to your body. So something along those lines is a great way. You don't have to do all of these things. The water you should be doing every day, no matter what the thank you is so easy. You should be doing that every day, no matter what you might not be able to do your foam rolling, stretching yoga, whatever, but you can do a mini, like a little stretch, a little warm up before you get out of bed. That's something that's possible. But the first two for sure you should be doing every day. Uh, Number four that I have for you is to watch or listen or expose yourself to something inspirational. You can have a video that maybe you like that really amps you up. Maybe you have a podcast or something like an audio tape or I say audio tape, but like, you know, digital, like audio, some kind of thing that motivates you, a podcast, you listen to one of my shows, something that amps you up, maybe one of my raw series, something that gets you fired up. It could be anything. It could be anything that gets you inspired. That could be watching any, it could be reading a paragraph from your favorite book, just something that speaks to you that gets you amped up. And this might not be for everyone, but you might have something that, oh man, when I look at this picture, when I read these words, when I see this quote, that's why if you've seen my soul motions, you've seen, I have quotes on index cards written and taped up around my monitors. I have a lot of them, the ones that mean the most to me. Uh, So those that speak to me that are really powerful, I have in my vision, in my peripheral all the time. And that keeps me on point. And whenever I have like any kind of doubts or a low mood, I look and I, you know, it it pops me right back in. Get sunlight. Next one's get sunlight. It depends on what time you wake up. If you get up at 5 a.m., you might not have this opportunity. But if you have, you know, a front door and there's sun in the sky when you wake up and you're not up before dawn and out in the house and at your work or wherever inside, before dawn, get some sunlight. 
Get some sunlight, get some vitamin D, expose yourself. One of my favorite combinations, I talked about this on Snapchat and Instagram this morning, and it's going to be in my vlog tomorrow, is the combination of coffee and sunlight. My Bulletproof coffee, just my coffee, any cup of joe and sunlight, that combination, I love it. I love sitting, getting some sun, drinking some coffee, starting my day that way, and I get you know, really, it's like a little reflection time period for me too, because it starts my day right. It allows me to relax a little bit like I'm, you know, a meditation, but it's some time for myself where I can sit with my thoughts and generate. I do some Snapchatting. I do some Instagram stories. I do some vlogging, but that helps me kind of get my thoughts out and, you know, generates all that, um, all that positivity and kind of gets my mind right and set for my direction for the day. And Game of Thrones. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> Game of Thrones. I get like the the Khal Drogo a lot. Uh, so the last one, the last one, and this is just my you know my thing. The last one is coffee. Coffee. This is optional, of course. Tea, something like that. I love my coffee. That's one of the best ways to start the day. But make sure you're drinking your water first. Don't drink coffee instead of water. Drink tons and tons and tons of water first, and then drink coffee. Coffee is lifeblood. Coffee is wonderful, good coffee. I'm not talking about shitty, you know, garbage Folgers coffee. Get some nice quality coffee. If you can, get a grinder. You know, make your coffee fresh. Take your time to make the coffee that you like and, you know, put some time into it. It's something that it could be like your routine. It's important to have a routine. It's important to have something, whatever it is. The last point I want to make, the last one, the last way that I want to give to you after coffee, which is kind of a funny one, is find yours. Because you might, the first two, you should be saying thank you and you should be drinking water. The stretching, the washing of inspiration to get sunlight, that's all optional. I mean, that's like, you know, that's what I like. That's what I'm giving to you. But the last one is to find yours. If you like to get up and do 30 jumping jacks and, you know, scream as loud as you can, that's fine. If that gets you going, then that gets you going. What am I to say otherwise? But you still need water. You should still be thankful. And then after that, find what is good for you. Those are some things. If you don't have a routine in the morning, try some of those. Try one of those. You might realize, wow, this is great. I love it. It at least gets you looking for something and taking into consideration the importance of starting your day off properly. The importance of starting your day off properly, the importance of setting yourself up correctly for success, uh, setting yourself up correctly and properly to attack the day. And that can be any different thing. That could be a, a slew of different possibilities. So got a ton of people. What's get me going is turning your channel off. Sweet, then get out of here. Get out of my room. I don't care if you watch my stuff. I do this for me as much as I do it for you. So for all the people that get value, there might be one or two schmucks in here. That's fine. That's cool. I don't need you. Still love you though. Kisses, smoochies. Got a lot of foreigners on my Periscope, which is pretty cool. I must be like prime time. Must be prime time. Like prime time in like Eurasia or something. That's what I have for you today. And guess what? As always, I'm going to stay for a few minutes after on Facebook Live, Busker, and Periscope. If you have any questions, what's with all the rude comments? That's welcome to Periscope. Welcome to Periscope. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do because a lot of people don't understand English. I'm on the list. I'm always on the list. The world list. It's because I'm so huge. You can see me from outer space. That's the problem. When you're a wonder of the world, you're on that world list. So people might not be able to speak English, but they can understand I want everyone on Periscope to go here. This is my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Swolnormous. It is Swolnormous on YouTube. Okay, it's the same username on Periscope as on YouTube. This is my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel subscribe and watch all the videos. I have tons of content. If you want to see more beard, if you want to see more hair, if you want to see more fitness, everything, go to my YouTube channel. The link is also in my um, profile on Periscope and Busker, and you can find it through Facebook Live. If you're watching this on YouTube, obviously you're here. So if you're watching this, like this video, subscribe if you aren't already. Lots of great content. I'm here every single day. So you might be finding me right now on the world thing, but subscribe. Uh, follow me here on Periscope because I'm here all the time. I do private scopes. I do scopes when I warm up. I do Q&As. How much you bench? More than you, son. <sighs> uh, not, I don't bench that, I'm that much. I don't, I don't really care too much about 
you know, strength wise, um, that's a big misconception is that you have to be like, you have to be benching a shitload to be huge. Uh, you know, everyone's different, you know, well, you know, over to being max, probably 315, you know, high twos. I don't really measure it too much. I don't really try to bench as much as I can. That's a skill. So anyway, I'll say for a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for joining me, everyone, for episode 127 of The Daily Mother Swole. I'll see everyone tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time for episode 128. Peace out. Have a great rest of your Saturday.